Hey guys, Pat1979 here. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, King Canada 5 ton log splitter and try to split different size logs. So we're gonna start big because most people want to know, you know, what size of a log you can split. So this is, I would say, about, so see, maybe 12 to 14 inches. So in the diameter. So we will see if this is able to split it. See, it managed to split it pretty easily. So, and this is some hard wood. So guys, this is some pretty hard wood. So as you can see though, uh, the only limit is the, uh, the, uh, the push, uh, the push uh, stuff is going to stop right here. So uh, there's a limitation on this, uh, on this log splitter. So, uh, so there's a limitation on this log splitter. So this log splitter is going to stop right here, guys. So the uh, whatever you call this, this is going to stop right here because it can't go past that certain point. So it's not going to go all the way up to the end or all the way up to there. It's just going to stop there. So this is the only limitation of this log splitter. But if you guys want to see uh, it uh, split more logs, so we're going to uh, look at a couple different size of log to split and just show you guys how strong this is. This is five ton so it can split different size logs so all right guys so little tips when you're using the king canada log splitter is you use a uh, little piece of wood so a small smaller log that you just cut and you just put in front so because the uh the block here the metal block is going to stop about there so there's going to be a, a significant distance that is going to stay so if you add a little piece of wood like that a small and you cut your your, your bigger logs smaller to fit in there it's going to be good so let's see how it works See guys, it's not it's not that bad. It's able to split it. There's a little bit of space left, but yep. So this is just perfect size. So the the uh, you can see the middle block here is just stopping short of the distance. It's able to split, but if your your uh, logs is uh, is full of uh, you know knots or stuff like that that the the fibers are stuck together then it's uh, it's a little bit more complicated to split it so all you need to make is a little wood adapter like that and it's perfect just to cut different size logs so let's try another piece of something a little bit smaller maybe so let's see so that was a pretty big log that we cut maybe like 12 to 14 inches apart so uh So it's able to cut almost all the way and okay, it's able to cut you know almost completely now so yep so the thing is you know it's it's a little bit of adaptation but for smaller jobs uh, it's uh, it's pretty good so let's take something a little bit smaller and let's see how it does with something a little bit smaller ju just for the hell of it so that one's a little bit too small so let's put it like that so let's see with this one so the diameter of this is maybe like six, seven inches. So let's see how it does. See guys, a five ton log splitter is plenty. Now if you want to finish it, you could always add that little adapter. boom you're able to split it super easy super good so my dad is pretty happy so it's going to help him cut firewoods and it's going to be easier to burn so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this little video if you want to see more tests in the future on this log splitter diff uh, splitting different log just uh, leave in the comment below and hope you guys enjoyed this video because there's not a lot on youtube showing guys for this particular model so if you live in canada it's going to be easier to get but uh you know there's a place where it sell it, they sell for 279 dollars canadian right now that's not on sale that there's no special on it that's just 279 dollars it's a pretty good deal so if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up it's always appreciated catch you guys on the next one